Why do I have to go fucking with shit now? Anyways, I think it works now. So, I'm gonna try out a different... I'm turning this fucking TV off. Sorry, it's got the Amazon fucking shit going on. The little wallpaper bullshit where it's just constantly changing and it's just gonna fuck with me. <laughs> uh, anyways, so I'm trying out my blue snowball mic with this. Because uh, you can control in the little Log Logitech webcam software, you can control which mic you're using. I figured I'll try the snowball mic. The only reason I haven't before is because I don't have an editing software or anything like that to try to sync everything with. The last time I even tried to use Premiere, I just couldn't, for some reason, export my fucking webcam files over, and I just had enough of it because it was a lot of money for someone that keeps having financial issues, you know, medical bills popping up, and then the unemployment, and then... Anyways, like, you know... You get what the fuck I'm throwing down. You're picking up what I'm throwing down. Anyways. Uh, since I haven't had editing software, I haven't really been able to like make sure I sync everything. And I was just like, I'll just keep using the webcam microphone. Because also, this thing has like a, three different settings, I think. And one of them is super, like, it will record fucking every ambient noise ever. And the other ones, like, you have to be up on that bitch. So I'm hoping I'm using one that is, like, an in-between or something. So it's not directly in the fucking, you know, in the frame of the video. And I'm hoping it, like, somehow automatically syncs the fuck up, you know. Hopefully things don't unsync and get weird. So if the audio is odd, I apologize. I'm going to listen to it back. And uh, we're going to go from there. Hopefully this will be the new setup because I listened to the last video. I, I listened to most of my videos just to kind of like see if I say anything I really shouldn't have said. Or just kind of double check things really. And since I don't edit things because I don't have an editing software that... Because every free software I've tried... Anyways, I've gone over this a lot of times. Sorry. Uh, this is what I do in videos for the most part. I ramble. So, uh, if you've watched literally any video, which you probably haven't, if you've ever talked to me <laughs> in real fucking life, this is just who I am. I talk a lot, and I hope this goes well. I hope you enjoy it, and if you don't enjoy it, I hope you leave a constructive criticism down below. What you would, or a suggestion of what you would enjoy me ramble about. Anyways... On to why I wanted to even fucking record and then saw that my mic was just kind of there and was like, I need to grab that and see if this will actually work out. Because also, I usually tend to like end up recording videos after I've been playing a game on my computer or browsing the internet or something, like streaming something on my computer, so it's already kind of taxed. So sometimes the webcam itself can be a little fucking uh, idiotic, well, a little stuttery, um, boy, that came out wrong, <laughs> but sometimes it can be a little, uh, finicky, uh, depending on when you use it and whatnot, which is understandable, because I imagine it's trying to do a lot dealing with my shit, <laughs> uh, but anyways, so I was fucking around, uh, about to start, a ramble about the fucking the division two and then i saw my microphone little option and i was like my mic i can tr i can try the blue mic i haven't tried the blue mic since i used to do the gameplay videos which i might get back into it's just kind of i uh, don't really i don't know anyways uh don't have the time as it were that often and i don't have editing software so it's kind of a fucking shit show uh <laughs> But anyways, I uh, saw the mic. It was just already affixed to my desk because I'm a madman and I put it there just in case. So I was like, fuck it, I'll try it. And hopefully this goes well. Now that I've wasted five minutes going up to why we're here, let's go to the point. Uh, I want to talk about The Division 2 because I saw a video posted by GameSpot. And it was just like four things that it added or whatever to The Division 2. Things Ubisoft has added to The Division 2. 
uh, from the Division One, like ways it's better than the Division, <laughs> ways it's better than the Division One. Don't know why that was so difficult for me to say. These things happen. Anyways, um, reasons it's improved and just better than the first division. And uh, a couple months ago, I like that's a lie. When they announced the Division 2, I was excited because I felt like uh, the Division 1, from what I remembered anyways, was a really fun game to play. Like, I didn't fuck with the Dark Zone because I hate that PvP bullshit. Like, that's just not my kind of game. Like, I, the Division for me was a co-op experience, but the thing is, a lot of times it was more of a two-man co-op, like me and my buddy Billy. I feel like... This one, it might be me, my buddy Billy, and his wife Ellie, which is better. You know, at least we have a third, and she usually plays a healer anyways, like in everything we ever play. So that would help to have a healer, so Billy and I could focus on just damage. But, and also his nephew Gage plays, but he's more into the PvP stuff. Uh, like, he's playing the Division now on, like, Game Pass, I think, and he's just playing the Division a lot when he's not playing Siege or... A battle royale because fucking kids <laughs> but he's a very pvp focused guy which honestly i kind of understand because there was a point in my like teenage youth when i was super into halo 3 with my cousins and stuff like that i still was way more into like solo or co-op games than he is he's always been a very multiplayer focused kid i feel like that's how most kids are growing up nowadays which is weird uh, I understand it, but I don't know. I, I f feel like that's where they get a lot of their social interaction, and that's not where I used to, and that's still not where I really do now. I don't know. Anyways, um, <laughs> sorry, that's go. Um, but anyways, the I did like the division. It just it felt really abrupt, and like a lot of things were meaningless. And, like, the ending felt really abrupt. You hit max level pretty hard, and then there was, like, no really going up from there except for getting better loot. And for the most part, the good loot was in the dark zone, and a lot of the good loot in the dark zone, a lot of the loot in general in the dark zone, excuse me, was contaminated loot or whatever the fuck. So you'd have to go do an extraction point. And if someone was waiting at an extraction point, like a lot of people did because it was effective as fuck, someone's just chilling there they can wipe you and take your shit because you have to call in an extraction wait for it to come in and then load your shit within a certain time and then you know it takes the fuck off with your shit so you could just wait until that shit until the helicopter comes in and people are starting to put their shit on on the hooks and stuff for extraction and fuck them up and take their shit because if you died with the contaminated loot that shit was lost forever bro so you could have just wasted fucking an hour just grinding, killing harder fucking enemies, killing people, taking their shit, taking all this good shit, and then get wiped. And then that's now our progress, bro. Suck a dick. Especially if you're already level 30 or whatever max level was for the PvP or for the Dark Zone and shit. Fuck you, bro. Eat a dick. Find one, eat it. Like, it was very not me-based because... Also, like, again, it usually was like me and my buddy Billy. Two people versus up to four enemies in one group. Now imagine if you just rolled up on two fucking groups that were battling each other. And then they're like, oh. Rookie wants to play. And then they just wipe each other and then kill you or kill you and then go back to wiping each other out. Whatever one they decide. But either way, someone's going to fucking whoop your ass. 2v4 is not very winnable in that game. Um, plus, like, it used to be really, it, like, it was really spongy. You would just unload, like, a fucking mag into somebody, and then they would, maybe would die, maybe wouldn't, and they'd have a fucking tank top on, so you're like, How, what is going on? It's fucking December in fucking New York. There's snow everywhere. He's wearing a tank top, and he's just soaking in bullets. How is he not freezing to death? How is he taking so many bullets? What is go what's going on? And then there was other guys that you see you kind of armored up and shoot them a couple times and they die. Uh, just kidding. Everyone was super spongy in that game.
But now, I guess, in the Division 2, they are, they're, like, the dudes that have, like, nothing on, those motherfuckers get killed pretty easily. Like, not super easily. Not as easy as it would happen in real life. It's a video game. Chill out. <laughs> but a lot easier than they used to be. And the ones that are difficult to kill actually have armor, and you can shoot said armor or off their fucking body and then expose, like, their actual body and shoot them. So apparently you have to be more strategic with where you shoot people, i.e. don't waste half a mag in their legs and then start shooting their fucking chest. You know, let's be not fucking idiotic here. Let's be sort of intelligent. It's a video game, but it's not going to be a walk in the park. Although, depending on where you live, that's very difficult. Like, if you live in New York and you're trying to go for a walk in the park right now at 10 o'clock at night, fucking good luck, dude. Stay safe. But, uh, I wouldn't. <laughs> anyways. I'm sorry, guys. Um, anyways, uh, it seems like it's going to be a lot more, not realistic, but more fun. Because, you know, wasting half a mag, wasting a whole mag and somebody that looks like you could fucking sneeze on them and they're just gonna get a cold from the fact that they're wearing just boxers and fucking new york or whatever you know what i mean like they never did that but they were there were a lot of them that were like how are you not freezing to death and how are you just taking 30 rounds into the chest what's going on but apparently that's better and they like they improved the settlement stuff where it's not just here here's your headquarters build this stuff and then fuck off like that's it apparently there's like your headquarters and what in the capital in the white house and then also settlements that you can like build up and then you can do little side quests and at those settlements and at first when i heard them say that i was like sweet fluff like was it's ubisoft of course there's going to be the side mission fluff bullshit and then they were like but they give you schematics a lot of xp well not a lot but they were like give you a good amount of xp and they give you schematics sometimes and blah 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 like they have rewards other than yeah you leveled up a little thanks for helping random npc for no reason other than to get that couple xp um <laughs> but they actually have like you get a schematic one of them that they showed was a vertical foregrip schematic so you can craft a vertical foregrip now which is cool you can eventually unlock schematics to make customizations for your weapons and i imagine like the old one you can unlock schematics to build fucking uh the weapons themselves and different things and also like there's different the different abilities like the seeker mind has different little things you can do you can make it air burst instead of whatever the fuck like you can make it different little things so you can customize your weapons and your specialties and your loadouts a little better and you can customize your character a little more i believe like, they're, they're kind of flushing it out, it seems. Like, Division 1 was a good idea. Division 2 is going to be the f what Division 1 should have been, more or less. It, it seems. Which, I feel like that was Assassin's Creed. You know what I mean? That's kind of Ubisoft's thing. Is We'll make this first one as, like, throw it against the wall. Like, Watch Dogs. Watch Dogs was very much like, let's see if this bad boy pans out. And they kind of oversold it. <laughs> I really enjoyed it, but that's because I'm from Illinois. And nothing ever gets made about Chicago. No video games are ever in Chicago. I want so fucking badly for GTA 6 or whatever. The next edition of GTA that comes out. Which I hope comes out relatively soon. Because I'm getting fucking tired of GTA 5 and GTA Online. Which honestly, I probably should play GTA 5 again. Like campaign wise. Because I haven't on my Xbox One. I did it on 360 and then... I haven't really touched it on Xbox One. But, <laughs> anyways, I hope the next GTA is in Chicago, because I really think they'd do really cool shit with it, especially since, you know, Al Capone, the history there, the history in the city, they could do their own, like, Al Capone spin, which, you know, they like to do certain tweaks to history and stuff anyways, like, in their games, because they do t tweaks to everything. It's Liberty City, not New York City. You know, you get the point. <laughs> but, uh... I think that'd be really cool. A anyways, but Watch Dogs 2 was so much better than Watch Dogs 1. Let let's be honest. They threw Watch Dogs out there as the idea. People liked it. They liked the idea of it. And they flushed it out more in Watch Dogs 2. They, they also moved it to a better environment for 
its aesthetic, as it were. Like it, the the environment really fit the game a lot better. I feel like I feel like if Ubisoft did like a knockoff Batman, because it was so moody in Chicago, which I think really fits. Like I feel, I know, I know Gotham isn't Chicago in like DC universe, but I've always kind of felt like it, it's really. A Chicago place because Batman's just so gloomy and now honestly I don't really know about DC stuff but I feel like anyway anyways god damn it I gotta stop myself because I'll go on for like 40 minutes of that I'm sorry uh, which if you want me to do that let me know god damn uh back to the division two and stuff uh but I I feel like this will be because also at first I was kind of like you know, the the problem with games like these is I'll throw myself into them and then I'll reach level 30 in, you know, X amount of days and then I'll be done. But if you can do, which actually isn't all that true because work it just fucking, anyways, because, uh, <laughs> you know, being an adult. But still, I feel like I could probably burn through it relatively quick, which concerns me. But at the same time, I don't want to be spending my extra time doing the fluff side stuff. You know what I mean? Uh, so, but it seems like it's actually rewarding. You know, it's not, hey, help this NPC for no fucking reason. Help this NPC and you'll get this. Now, I'm hoping the story surrounding the side missions is actually good. I don't know if they have if they've taken anything from the writers from Assassin's Creed Odyssey, any notes out of their playbook, but I hope they did because I feel like Odyssey has done a lot of things really good on the side quest side of things. I feel like there's some stuff that could be done better, but overall for basically for a non CD project red game or a non rock like Rockstar game, you know, not Red Dead, not the Witcher, God, my fucking webcam. Why you gotta, why you gotta, right now. Eh. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, why did I do that? <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, but, it, but it, you know, it's not a CD Projekt Dread game. It's not a Rockstar game. It's not a, you know, Witcher, GTA, Red Dead. It's not those. It's a Ubisoft game. And Ubisoft, I love you guys to death. For a while, we're not exactly known for the stories. You were just like, yeah, they do open world. The after Far Cry Three, you guys kind of were just like, that's 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 the fucking schematic we use to build everything from now on. You know what I mean? But uh, I mean, you guys have done it well. Like I play your fucking games. I, I honestly really big fan of Ubisoft. Like I'll shit on their stuff, but like. I bought that shit and played it because I, I liked it. So, I mean, it could have been better, but I liked it enough to pay for it. I like it a lot better than most of EA shit. God, I'm so sad about Andromeda. <laughs> Anyways, uh, but I feel like this was kind of another case of they had this idea, they threw it at the wall, and then once people bought it and liked it and gave their feedback, they were like, okay, that's that's the actual picture. That's This was like beta division. This is... This is release edition division, okay? We we threw this out there. You liked it. You kind of didn't at the same time. We got you. Because also, like, the Dark Zone has different areas or different, like, stages, I think it was called. I don't remember. But there's different... As far as I know, there's, like, an area there or a time where it's just, like, PvE. Like, Friendly Fire is disabled. And then there's also different areas where it's... This is... You're going to fucking get killed or kill somebody. And then there's less... There's like an in-between area where it's not super PvP, but you can kill each other. I, I don't know. Uh, don't really care. Dark Zone, not my jam. I really hope the campaign, the story is really good. I hope it doesn't fucking force you to do a bunch of Dark Zone stuff. Unless it, do, it forces you to... Unless... It forces you to do Dark Zone stuff with, with like, no PvP 
You know what I mean? Like I, that's not my shit. That's not my jam. I don't like the PvP stuff. I would much rather play. I'd much rather play Halo Three campaign than play Halo Three multiplayer. And I love Halo Three multiplayer. It's so fucking good. But I love I love campaigns. You know I. I buy Gears of War because I like the co-op campaign, not because I want to fucking play multiplayer PvP. Although I have done, I'm just not, that's not what I buy it for. They're bonuses, as it were. And I felt like in The Division, the first one, PvP became more, like, more of the focus rather than a bonus. And that's just not what I like. I feel like this one, so far from what I've seen, looks very much like... The PvP, the multiplayer stuff, is a bonus, not the focus. And I, I like that. I don't like multiplayer things, for the most part, you know? I would much rather come home, watch YouTube videos, chill out, play Xbox with my friends. Than, you know, in a co-op sense. Than play, oh, let's fucking be competitive and kill that motherfucker to take his loot. You know, that's not me. It's not me. If I have to, I will. But... <laughs> But I'd prefer not to, you know. Uh, and I was honestly thinking about just not even buying it. And, because I kind of got... I, I started talking to my friend Billy about it. And he was like, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to get it. Because I, I kind of stopped playing... Uh, I stopped playing The Division after, you know, a short while. Because he just didn't really enjoy it that much. Because again, we got to like X level... And then we were like, all right, I guess we could go to the dark. Uh, fuck that. And we just fell off because that's just not what we wanted to do. Um, I feel like this one's going to be a lot more open, going to be a lot more conducive to that kind of style of player. Hope. Um, but I saw that GameSpot video today and I was like, oh, fuck, I'm. I actually, like, I got me more hyped because I, I really started to have a downward spiral of not wanting to, you know, because I also talked to my cousin Jeremy and he was like, I, I don't know if I'm going to get it, you know, even if I, you know, it's just not one of those, like, the Division 1, again, I feel like it was Assassin's Creed or Watch Dogs, where I fucking loved it, but my friends were like, we, you know, we liked it, but we didn't, you know, they were kind of really indifferent, leaning towards disliking. But I got on them about the next one, and then, you know, they decided to jump on the wagon. Like, Billy really enjoyed Watch Dogs 2. Although, again, that's an, that's one of those games where it was like, this is a single-player thing, but you can play a co-op. Like, you can do a lot of shit co-op. It's really fun. So, that I feel like that's kind of where we're at, you know what I mean? So, hopefully, The Division 2 has that ability, because I'd much rather play... And just chill out and just kill a bunch of PvE motherfuckers with my buddies. You know, kill a bunch of enemy AI and do shit, unlock schematics, build stuff, improve uh, improve bases, improve settlements, uh, and then improve uh, your home base in the, I'm pretty sure it's the White House that the home base is in. Because I know it's in DC, I'm pretty sure the home base is the White House honestly haven't really done that much research on the division two because i got like i i kind of wanted everything to be a surprise almost and i was hyped for it and then everyone kind of like killed my hype almost a little bit you know what i mean so i was like shit maybe i should look at you know maybe i should look into it more like i wasn't super hyped where i was like oh my god this is gonna be the best game ever but i was like i'm, I'm definitely buying this game like i want to see where it goes it looks like it's gonna be better because i i know how ubisoft works like this is what they do. They throw something at the wall, and then if people like it and they get good feedback, they're like, all right, we got you. And then a couple years later, depending on if their developer's right, a couple years later, like the people working on that specific game, I mean, not the developer in general. But uh, if the team's right, they'll be like, got you, come back, and hopefully they have good writers, and they'll come back with another story in the bike. Bang. What do you think? And then usually... People are like, why don't you do this one first? Like, they like it, but they're like, really would have been better if this was the first one, not the second. 
it's one of those things where it's like if you would have surprised us with this entire package instead of just what the division was initially we would have loved the brand the division immediately and been like all right this is this is the new shit right here this is this is hot for however long you know but instead everyone was like we like it and then died off and you know anyways i just rambling at this point sorry guys but i i kind of want to just tell everybody my, how my uh hype fluctuation went because at first i was pretty like yeah i'm gonna buy it for sure because i want to see what it does and i want to i think it's going to be at least as good as the division which i'd still buy the division again if i had to not at the same price i probably would buy it at like a 50 dollar mark uh although that's only 10 dollars, but whatever because it's not it's not a 40 dollar game it's a 60 dollar game but it's just not my cup of tea for a 60 dollar game uh but i'm fairly hot like but then everyone kind of cut me down a little bit like they didn't cut me down they didn't cut the game down they just were like the people i'm gonna play with ideally in my head would be my my buddy billy i almost i was like confused i don't know if i was gonna say my cousin or my cousin jeremy or billy but you know but my my buddy billy my cut i almost fucked it up there too <laughs> my cousin jeremy and maybe uh billy's nephew my friend gage i usually play siege with him well when i do play siege it's usually with him because i don't really play siege that much anymore but anyways um but he's more like i said earlier more pvp focused so i don't even know if i'm gonna really be playing with him uh but i'm definitely gonna be wanting to play with billy and jeremy and they both were kind of like lukewarm on getting it you know what i mean so kind of you know brought me down a little bit and i still i'm still not even 100 percent certain if i'm gonna buy it or just rent it to be honest just rent it and try to bust it out and then if i like it buy it but my thing is if i do that i'm spending more money rather than just buying it but if i do that and it's shit you know i'm saving money what i don't know i'll probably just rent it and just see where it goes and then i'll be like yeah and i'll probably end up buying it anyways because i'm an asshole <laughs> But they kind of brought me down on it. And now I'm like, at this point, I'm probably going to buy it. Like, I, I'm, I'm going to be honest. If I have the money this check, probably won't. If I do, though, I'm probably buying Far Cry New Dawn. It looks dope as fuck. And I love Far Cry. So, and it's a single player. Like, you can play co-op, but it's, a, it's not a PvP thing. I imagine it's probably going to have PvP multiplayer as an option, but the way I've seen what I've seen is it's a single player like campaign thing, and then you can like also play co-op. That's what I've seen, so that I'm in, you know. Plus, hopefully that means I can do like an offline thing. And anyways, I'm excited for the division 2 i'm most likely gonna buy it i if i have the money to i'm probably just gonna buy it and not even rent it to be honest but in priorities far cry new dawn because also it's only 40 bucks instead of 60 and it the customization looks fun and goofy i know i could probably fuck around play that with my buddy billy or possibly jeremy or both i don't know if you can do up to three player or anything like that it'd be cool if you could do all like up to four player don't know but still at least one other person from what i've seen uh i i am almost certain i'd be able to play that with one of them like i'm almost certain one of them is going to end up picking it up the division two they're both lukewarm on i'd most likely be playing that by myself which is fine honestly I feel like Far Cry New Dawn is more of a play it by yourself kind of game though. Huh. But which is fine, like play that by myself, that's fine that'd be fine. But I I imagine there's gonna be parts where I'd really want to play it with, you know, some friends, and I I don't really like solo queuing. I I don't I don't know. I don't really enjoy gaming with people I don't know. If that makes any sense. Like I it's fine. I just would much prefer 
playing with my buddy Billy than playing with some random dude that's pretty chill, but I don't really know when he's just some dude I found on fucking Twitter that wanted to play. I don't, I don't know if that makes any sense to anybody. I'm a weird dude. That's just how things go. I'm sorry I fucking am talking so long. Jesus Christ, 30 minutes, you idiot. But anyways, uh, I'm, pr I'm probably going to end up buying The Division 2. I want to know what you guys think about it. I want to know where your hype level is. Maybe you'd want to play so then I at least have somebody that I'm definitely going to be able to play it with. I don't know. Uh, but let me know in the comments if you want to play it with me or if you're excited for it or if you don't want to play it, what you don't like about it. If you if there's like, if you have reasons you don't want to play it, let me know. If you have reasons you're excited for it, let me know. If you don't really give a shit, you probably won't let me know. So, shit. If you're excited for Far Cry New Dawn, also let me know. Uh, if you have any things that I didn't cover here, throw it out. If you have uh, like any details about either game that you think I should be aware of, let me know. Or other gamers should know of, let them know. And uh, I'm going to end it there. Sorry for rambling so long, guys. I hope you have a fucking good one.